Okay, well, we're watching uh, John Pizel in the shaping room. They're duplicating an uh, MR original that uh, kind of changed the West. Four-time world champion Mark Richards had a great streak, and icons of surfing here is uh, so good. Icons of foam, and we just had young Taz Yazin, who was the first shaper in there, in for an interview. Did a great job. 16-year-old kid, and. I mean, he's just so starstruck. He's running over there to watch John shape right now, and it's just a, it's a great thing. It's, it's a difficult thing, jumping in the booth at a trade show. I've done my share of it, and uh, it's rewarding, but it's better watching. Yeah. Better to sit the back there and watch everybody else's technique. Yeah. I, I don't think there's anyone that's not nervous. Yeah. And to have all eyes on, because it's such an unusual situation. It's, it's very different than what you're normally in. Usually shapers sit in the room, they're by themselves in their own head space, and all of a sudden you're in front of everybody in the world. So what I would do is just look at the blank, focus on it, and try and go in that happy place, you know? So. And, and here we are back in the studio, and we've got our guest Dave with Ergo by Paddle Air. Yeah. And um, so tell us about the product that you brought in today. Well, uh, what we have is we have a product that's built into a rash guard. And uh, what, how the way this came about is about eight years ago when I first in, invented this product, um, I was starting to have problems with my neck and my back. And I noticed as I aged, it was getting a little worse. So I had this idea to incorporate an air bladder into a regular rash guard that's completely adjustable with a little inflation valve. And with a little puff, you inflate this, this bladder, and what this does is it gives you some lift, and it's completely adjustable. So if you need a little more lift, you can, you know, you can inflate it more, or you, if you need a little less, you just you inflate it, or you completely deflate it. So basically what this does is by, because it elevates you, uh, it takes stress off of your neck and your back. And, and what we found is a lot of guys are having problems with, you know, with that as they age. And funny enough, you know, years ago when I first invented this, um, I didn't have any problems with ribs. But now it's like, this is like, wow, a lot of people have rib problems. We've got guys that have had surgery, that I have chest surgery, they've got a scarring, they fractured the ribs, possibly. They've had a fractured rib. And a lot of guys have, like, uh, this breastplate here is a xiphoid process. And a lot of them have a convex, it sticks out. So they have a lot of pain in their ribs. So not only does this provide lift and take stress off the neck and the back, but it also pads the ribs. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Perfect sense. My yeah. dad, a lot of people have sciatic problems, and they yeah. just get to a point and it's funny, a lot of guys go to stand up paddling because they've said, hey, I can't lay down and do this anymore and jump up, so. Right, right. And you know, and, and a lot of guys have actually been able to get back into the sport because they had, they were having severe, se you know, severe problems. They wouldn't, you know, we have fuse discs and stuff like that, and they had to stop surfing. And it's really a bummer. I mean, I've been surfing for 45 years. I know if I had to quit, I'd be bummed. <laughs> You know, I'd be really bummed as you guys would, you know, if you couldn't surf anymore. And I got to tell you, you know, I get, I get uh, on my webpage, I've got some comments that people have, have you know, told, told me about, you know, wow, thanks so much for inventing this. You know, I can surf again. I surf with my kids. You know, it's just, God, I it's such a great feeling. It's really great. And do you make them for men and women or uh, it, is it one size? We size these are sized for men. We are working on a woman's uh, model, but we're going to do something a little different there. I'm not going to. I'm not going to talk about what it is, but it's going to. It's going to incorporate some other features that are really going to help women. But we want to make sure that it's right when we come out with it. You know, we. I, I travel to Central America every, every year. I've got a place in Panama. We do all of our research testing down there, and uh, we're working on some new stuff, and we're really excited. And our business is growing. It's great. It's kind of growing organically. The guy sees it on the beach, and they go, wow, what's that, you know, and it's very cool. It's very so, cool. so if someone wants to go out and get one, are they at retailers up and down the we coast? We do or? have retailers. We have a couple retailers in San Diego. We also have our website, 
Uh, I would suggest anybody that wants to know more about the product should go to our website, paddleair.com. That's P-A-D-D-L-E and like the air. And take a look at the testimonials. I mean, that's what sells our product. People use it and, you know, it's like, wow. You know, and we put that on the website. You know, we've got, and we were lucky because when we first started, there wasn't a product like this. And we were lucky enough, to, we've got Bing Copeland using it. We've got Corky Carroll using it. You know, Mike Eaton, you know, guys like that. And it's like, wow, that's, <laughs> it gave us credibility because it was up, you know, it was up to me to, to create, a, to create the usage because it didn't exist before. So we we're lucky that way. So I'm, I'm really stoked. Bing's here. I'm like, hey, Bing, you know, it's very cool. Very yeah, cool. it's great to have marketing tools like that. Yeah. Well, you know, you can't buy that kind of marketing. You know, that's, you can't buy that. I got I got one of your wets or one of your rash guards a few years ago to take down to my friend in Peru. I don't right, know if you right. Remember I remember. That, yeah, I remember. Oh. And he's like 80 years old. One of the original Peruvian yeah. surfers, and and that, it's just so frustrating for him to not be able to go paddle, and and getting that allowed him to catch a couple more waves. So yeah. it's, it's nice to touch people with your product. And oh yeah, it's, give them it's some really happiness. Great. And it's starting, you know, originally we were, it was a lot of older guys. We're, we're down into the late 20s, early 30s. We're, we're definitely expanding our product now. Guys are discovering it and they're finding that, you know what? A lot of those injuries, possibly, I'm not saying that they are, they could be repetitive stress. Our generation was the first generation, you know, from the 50s to go through surfing. They don't, you know, it's like a baseball player, you know, thrown out his shoulder. I'm sure that there are some injury related problems to prone paddling. It's, you know, it's, it's that weird position, you're hyper extending your neck. You know, I, the more I talk to people, I see that there's, there's a pattern there. And I think, you know, we think that if you use this product a little earlier, that you may prevent some of those, those issues down the road. Well, back in our day, we had surf bumps on our knees from paddling, knee paddling, and that today's status symbol is a little bump on your rib cage. So, that, there again, that was another thing that didn't exist back then. Yeah. There's nobody had surfed long enough. Yeah. Corky Carroll, you guys have probably seen, has huge. They call him four boobs in Mexico because he has these huge knots on his chest from paddling. You know, and we get a lot of that. We get a lot. You get a calcium buildup just like you do on your knees. Yeah. So. Very well, cool. it's good. Yeah, it's Is there good stuff. a point where you can inflate it too much? Well, I mean, it hurts? It'll, you can inflate it that much. So you're going to you're going to get about three to four inches of lift. That's going to you know it's going to uh, angle you up a little bit more, so you have a little bit better paddling angle actually. So besides the the rib protection, you're actually getting a a, a better paddling angle. Because what happens when you get that lift is you instead of fighting the arch you're actually dropping your shoulders and you're able to get your shoulders more in the water so you're getting a longer paddle stroke. That, that was leading into my next question. I'm wondering if you feel different muscles being used once that's once you're using that. All I can tell you is what, when you've used it a while and then you let all the air out and you're going, wow, you really tell, you can tell the difference. It's like you don't realize how, long, how much of stress you're putting on your neck your back until you've used this. And it's a flotation too, when you fall, you get your airbag. We, we don't call <laughs> it flotation. It's not a flotation device. It does provide a little bit of flotation, maybe if you snap a leash or something. It might give you, you know, there's a little bit of flotation, but we don't yeah. We don't sell it as a flotation device. And, and you could vary the, uh, the amount of air. Can you release it out in the water? Yeah, if you're laying on it, all you do is push this valve, and you can see the valve, the bladder just deflates. And then so as soon as you let your in. finger off, then it's, it stops deflating. Okay. And if you're laying on it, then of course, you know, it'll go all the way to zero if you're laying on it. So it's very easy to adjust, you know, to while you're paddling, you just take it a puff or, you know, you just let some air out and you don't have to have any in there if you don't want. And when I sit outside, I usually take all the air out of it. Leave it up, you know, just sitting waiting for sets. Well, it sounds good. Yeah, pretty good. I'm, gl I'm glad I'm still healthy and not using it, but I know there's product for me in case. Not now, later. But my dad, my dad, <laughs> I can get him one. 
Well, I'm at the age where I probably need one, but I've been using thicker wetsuits. You know, so. <laughs> well, you know what? The, the beauty of our product is that guys don't quit surfing. They never quit. They yeah. just keep going, and that's all the better for us. Yeah. All right. Well, Dave, thank you. Hey, thank, thank you, for... guys. I appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks a lot, Dave. It's been fun. Thank you. All right. Well, here we are at the... Uh, What's coming next? Sorry. Kelly on MR video. And John Pizel there in the shaping bay. Yeah, it's it's